And good evening, everybody. I did it again, didn't I? I showed the wrong animated intro. This video is not sponsored by the publisher, although it is approved by the publisher. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Paul Grogan, and tonight I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Vindication, uh, which is a board game, but we are going to be using Tabletop Simulator. Now, uh, as I say, it's not sponsored by the publisher Orange Nebula, but I did reach out to them and ask them uh, if they are more than happy for me to do a playthrough using Tabletop Simulator. Uh, because this is a uh, this is a fan created mod for the game it's not official whoever created it has had to scan in all of the cards and everything else and i know some publishers aren't keen on that but orange nebula was like yep feel free give the game some coverage um and i don't have the physical game myself i have played it once in january um thank you very much to ronan for teaching me at handycon in january i really enjoyed it and it is a game i wanted to play again so here we are we're playing this and I am joined by three friends tonight. So first of all, let's introduce uh, Mr. David Digby down in the bottom right, who should appear. There you go. Say hello, David. Hello. Now, have you played this game before? No, I haven't. But you've read the rules. Uh, I've watched some playthrough videos and I had a quick flick through the first few pages of the rule book. Right. When I loaded the mod a little bit earlier. Yeah. Well, that that's all right, because we're joined in the top right by Mo, who has played the game a lot and definitely knows how to play. Good evening, Mo. Uh, good evening, Paul. How are you doing over in Kuwait? I'm uh, doing good, thanks. And how's the lockdown there? Because the last time we spoke, you said that the, the lockdown is only for the afternoons? Yeah, it's still pretty much the same. Okay, so in the morning, everybody can go out, hug everybody and... <laughs> do <all> nah, <laughs> nah, nobody actually goes out, only people who have like uh, special uh, positions or jobs that they need to accomplish. Right. Okay, yeah. right. Uh, but how many times have you played this game then? uh played it four or five times probably right and yeah. have you played because there's like we're going to play the basic game today but i believe there's like eight eight different expansions or something like that yeah i think the last time i played i added in about half the modules okay so yeah, yeah. we because me and david haven't played before we're, we're just going to be playing the basic game today but is it fair to say that the modules are just minor additions to the game um some of them are some okay. of them just have different locations, but then there's certain modules that add like new boards on the side right. and they change the game quite a bit. Okay. Yeah. Um, and finally, we're joined by Joe. Now, me and Joe go back a long way. Joe uh, works at Blizzard. He's over in America. He's taking the day off. Say hello, Joe. Hello. Good afternoon. Not, good, yeah, not good, even good here yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're all the way over on the West Coast, aren't you? Yeah, it's like just lunchtime here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, we go back many, many years back to, was it before Mage Knight or was it Mage Knight? It was Mage Knight. Yeah. It was Mage Knight. I thought it was because if it was before Mage Knight, I'm trying to think what it was. But no, um, yeah, Joe helped um, uh, develop the, the latter two expansions, which I officially designed, but I couldn't have done it without the development team. And Joe was part of that development team. Um, and Mage Knight is my number one favorite game. And Joe, you're still playing it on a weekly basis or has that stopped for now? Um we're, we're trying to every so often when we can. Right. It's harder. It's harder now, but... Yeah. Yeah. Although I did find that a fully scripted version of Mage Knight was on Tabletop Simulator. I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm like, well, I might have to do that. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so what we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to be doing a playthrough. This is not going to be one of my tutorial videos because I don't really know how to play the game. Mo's going to be taking the lead uh, on the teaching and we're here just really to... To play through it so you will learn how to play by watching but yeah if you're expecting me to teach you how to play the game that's not what one of these videos is about um off we go then so you've done the setup is that right uh yes we just need to choose um our two quests okay uh, so or sorry one of our secret quests so, so is it everybody... best to put these cards into my hand and then i can see them Yes. Yeah, there we go. Right. And I, if I flip them over, nobody else can see them. Is that right? Uh, I can see them if they're flipped over. Oh, OK. I'll try flipping them back then. <laughs> Let's have a look at them secretly. So we choose one no, of I, these. I can't see them. I can't oh, see them. Oh, you can't. You cannot see them. Yeah. Right. OK. Yeah, I cannot see them. There we go. Right. Uh, so we choose one of these and that's basically going to give us points at the end of the game if we yes. do the thing that's printed on it. Okay. Yeah, so there's two levels. If you accomplish the first one, you get the first part. And then if you also accomplish the second one, you get the second part as well. Right. Okay. And it's always two and five, is it? No, there's different uh, levels. Okay. So um, some have two and five, some have three and four. Ew. Right. 
Okay, I've chosen Get his that one. Squint at these. Uh, so, Joe, you're fairly new to Tabletop Simulator. Yes. If you hold down the Alt key. Oh, hello, yes. <laughs> yeah, it will actually bring that up on screen so that you can see it. The other, another useful tool is if you, if you hold down the M key for magnifying glass and then you move your cursor around, it, it saves you having to keep zooming in. So yeah, the M key is quite useful. Holding down Alt is very useful. Um, Which key? Oh, okay, got it. Alt, Alt to actually show the thing full, uh, on your screen. Uh, and the, the Z key, I'll say Z because you're in America, um, that temporarily zooms into wherever your mouse cursor is and then you press it again to zoom out. Uh, and thank you to everybody for joining me in the chat. Nomi's here, Johnny's here, Tim's here, Jace's here, Mark's here, Stevie's here, uh, Peter's here. Excellent. Linda's here, Matt's here, loads of people. Thank you very much for joining in tonight. Um, so the secret quest that we don't want... You put it back in the deck. Put it back in the deck. Yep, I saw you grabbed it. There yeah. you go, back in the deck. Shuffled. And then I gave everyone a journey card, which is this brown uh, card right in front of you. Yeah. So this basically tells you where you start on which place in the island. Uh huh. So, for example, I start on spot number seven. So I grab my uh, player piece and where is number seven? So I think over here. I'm on number five. Yeah. Okay, yep. And then based on our player order, we should reveal the adjacent two tiles. Right. But we also start on space 15 of the scoring track as well. Is that, that's where uh, we all are, is it? Yes. Space number 15. Space number 15. You can't pick things up when you're magnified in. No. Oh, so this I'm is already on space, space 15. 15. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we can get rid of orange. We don't need orange. And we can get rid of... Uh, that's it. Yeah, because it's up yeah. to five players, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Okay. So we are we are revealing Wait, the two locations. What space? I must have read that wrong. On your <laughs> journey card, there's a number in a triangle. Oh, it's number nine, not number 15. nine. Got yeah, it. yeah. I was looking at the wrong card there. So the lowest number is one, I assume. Yeah, uh, I David. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So David's the starting player. Okay. So David, you can reveal two tiles from the tile bag here. So the bag is and here. Place them adjacent to you. Yeah. I'm starting to remember this game now. How many times have you played it, Joe? Uh, just the once. Our okay. friend David. Our friend David. I don't think you've met him, but uh, friend David yeah. got it as Place part of the Kickstarter. Right. right. And um, yeah, feel free to orient it however you like. I assume it's best to orient it uh, in the position of the player. Okay, and then it also tells you which color companion you start with. So, for example, I have a blue companion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a blue one. It says draw until you don't see a particular icon, so I guess I just... Yeah, just flip it over and then, okay, the icon is that, there. Yeah. So just draw another one. Where's that icon? It's oh, also top there. Left. Yeah, top yeah. left, yeah. I assume those are a little bit more powerful companions. Okay, okay. so that's the one you start with. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to do mine while we're at it. Uh, yep, yeah, I uh, have that. So I'm just looking for a red one. Do, do, do. Shuffle. Um, I'll draw one. Uh, draw until you. Okay. Right, and then eight potential, eight influence, two. Okay, conviction. that does not have the icon. And then I get is it one strength. We're just leaving the companion by our board, yeah. Yeah, yeah just, just in that next year, wherever, yeah. So one knowledge, one strength, and one inspiration. Yeah, our cubes there. Right? Okay. Eight potential, eight influence, two conviction. Okay. So that, that journey card can disappear now, can't it? We don't need that. Yep. There you go. Okay. Am I revealing two tiles? Yes. There we go. Okay, what have we got? We have the fort and the holy spire. Now, what is it I'm trying to do? Oh, we're all just putting our cubes in the same places. Cool. Okay. For me to... Right. Uh, 
where is the deck for the, for the red, red companion? Deck? No, for the hex tiles. I've got the red companion. Uh, it's oh, a it's bag. over it's here. here. It's, it's just a bag. bag. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Stevie ah. says he's played 100 hours of Tabletop Simulator and didn't know about the M and the Z keys. There you go. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. I was trying. I was like, I can't figure out how to get it off my piece. Okay. What do I have? Hey, Joe, if you don't mind, I'll grab this journey card. You don't need it anymore. I'll toss it oh, over there. Sure. Yeah. And then we also each get two glory because our companions have a glory number. Do they all say two? Some some might say three. Mine's, Mine's two. got two. Is it glory or honor? Uh, honor, sorry. Yeah. Honor. Honor. Right, okay. It's just I watched yeah. a video earlier on and they called it honor, so I, I wasn't sure. Yeah, which it, is, correct. it is honor. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense thematically, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so weird not being purple. Do you normally play purple? I normally play purple, yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> it's all right. I got to card in my hand in front of me so it'll remind me what color I am. Yeah. Yeah. And I set Just the camera. camera things. So there that's go. right. I've set a couple of camera angles. Okay. Uh, Anything else my, to do? Where's my score marker? It's on the number 17. So yeah. yeah, right here. This one. So we'll place them on top or just Oh, uh, right. okay. Oh, it's nearby, yeah, wherever. Yeah. Physics right. is hard. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Right. Okay. We're ready to start. Yeah. We already now. Oddly enough, on on your um, player reference sheet, there was a purple. There was a bag, and in that bag was another bag, but there was nothing in it. Which? Oh, I yeah, think this I... bag just has your pieces. These cubes. It's supposed to have these cubes. Oh, okay. I was just moving the bag off so that I could see the player reference. Yeah. I, I would assume it's a scripting thing, Paul. Right. Okay. So everything's in the bag, but when you start it, it all gets put it out. It all right, comes okay. out of the bag because you can reference to bags on, on the scripting. Yeah. So very, very quick overview, just for those people who are watching who don't know how to play the game. Um, the theme of the game is that we are all nasty, horrible people. We've washed ashore this island uh, and we are trying to gain honour and potentially become vindicated and try and become nice people. At the end of the game, it is a Euro game and whoever has the most honor at the end of the game will win there's lots of ways you can get on it you've just seen one way of getting on it is that we have a companion my companion has two honor on it which is why i've got two honor but everybody's has to start with um we're going to take it in turns and on your turn you do three actions you activate move and then you either visit or rest and you can do those actions only once each you do all three but you can only do each one of them once and you can do them in any order there are also four bonus actions that you can do, which you can pretty much do whenever. Now, a lot of the game is going to be about placing these cubes on the board. So you have cubes in your potential, cubes in your influence, cubes in your conviction. I think it's the influence cubes that generally you spend. Um, and what you do is you put them into the three colored areas on the board. So there's the red area for strength, the blue area for knowledge, the yellow area for inspiration. Uh, and then you can spend them from there to do various other things. The in-between colours, the purple, orange and green, you only get them by combining the two adjacent colours. So you can combine a red and a yellow to make an orange. So the, the orange, the purple and the green ones are kind of more powerful, I think. Um, but yeah, we're going to be exploring the island, uh, putting location tiles on there. Activating these location tiles is basically getting cubes or drawing cards. We can get companions, we can get artifacts, a whole host of things. But that, that's a very high level overview of, of what it's all about. Okay, so are we ready to start? Yes. Okay, so David, you're taking the first turn. Yeah, thanks for that. That's um... all right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you're doing, and we'll we'll explain yeah. we'll explain the first round as, as we go as people do different actions. Yeah, will you, you'll explain the first round to me as I do it. Right, I'm going to move there, which right. I believe allows me to explore that that so there. Here's how, here's how the movement works, from what I understand it. At the start of the game, if you look at well, people can see on this screen here, you're walking and you have a value of two movement points. This can upgrade yeah. as the game goes on, but for now, 
we are pedestrians and we can move too. And you move from one triangle to the next. So David starts here, you could move to there, or you could move to, you could move to here. Well, I, st I started, I started, oh, sorry, you started there. there yeah. You could just move one if you wanted. Yeah, I have, yeah. If you wanted to, you could move two, for example. Yeah. Um, but you do need to complete your movement before you start revealing the tiles, but the yeah, tiles right. will go will go in order of the tile you just moved to. Okay. Yeah. I have completed my movement. And... So you're happy moving just one. So yeah. then what happens is at the end of your movement, if you have any empty hexes next to where you are, you take a tile out of the bag and you put it on there. You'll get there eventually. There you go. Right. Well, <laughs> Nearly. Yeah. Okay. So that's the movement part of the turn done. Uh, you have to move at least one space. And remember, you have to take each of those three actions once. So you have to move at least one space on your turn. Right. Would you now like to activate or would you like to visit stroke rest? Uh, I, will, I will activate my the newly discovered location. Right. So you move one in. Uh, well, no, activating is uh, that's visiting. Oh, activating that's visiting. Sorry. is you or your companion. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to visit. You're going to visit next. OK, so yeah. when you visit the location, basically you do whatever the location says. And which location do you want to visit? Uh, the newly revealed that one, the okay. Academy. So what does the Academy do? I don't know that one. Uh, the Academy allows me to roll the white die, I believe. Yes. Uh, to gain one of the uh, the attributes. Okay. And then if you get something which you don't have, you can roll it again and get another resource as well. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. So you're rolling the white dice and got green. I've got a green thing. Oh, nice. So that's a nice easy way of getting uh, green or so that, the others. So that comes from my influence. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Uh, and because I haven't got that, I can roll it again. Yes. Nice. And I've got a red thing. All right. So he just, that's his strength. Okay. So I've moved and I've visited. So yep. now I can activate. You can. Now, does one of you have the YouTube video playing in the background? Because I can hear, I can hear, I can hear what's happening slightly delayed. I don't shouldn't think it's be me. me. I'm just okay. in the headset, so it shouldn't be me. Okay. Right. Okay. So when you activate, you can choose to activate either your own character. Yeah. Which essentially, means you get either an inspiration, a knowledge, or a strength, or you can place an influence cube onto a character and then you get the character's stuff, which is generally better. Sorry, not the character, the companion. It's generally better, but it costs you an influence. Yeah, and, the, um, and what I get is in the top left, isn't it? And the ability at the bottom, yeah. I believe, as well. Matt is saying, didn't David need to move? David did move. So he started off on this number one space here and he moved to here. So you don't have to move the full amount as long as you move at least one space. All right, well, let's let's go with that. Let's activate my companion. So that gets me two blue. Yep. And you can look at the top card of any of the six face down stacks on the board, put it back or flip it face up. OK, I'm going to I'm going to have a look at the blue. Now that I've got the cubes in there, I can I can mm -hmm. potentially look to get a companion in that color. Yep. So I'm just reading the text on the cards. Uh... I can be thinking about my turn next, can't I? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a, I'm going to, is it, re it says reveal, is that this? No, look at. So, look at. Uh, I'm just gonna you, draw you can flip it face up if you want to, it says. Yeah, but I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to look at it first. Yes. Rather than, rather than let you lot see it. Yeah. So the easiest way to draw a card from the deck, tabletop simulator tip for anybody who wants to know, is you just move your mouse over the deck and press a number. Now, in this case, you want to press number one because that will draw the top card of the deck and put it into your hand. If you wanted to draw five cards from your deck, which we do all the time playing Aeon's End, you move your mouse over the deck and press five and that draws five cards. So yeah, move your mouse over the deck, press the num press number one 
that will draw the card into your hand, which means then you'll be able to see it, but nobody else will. Yeah, and I'm gonna. Oh, I was. I've been selected on two things. That's the whole deck I've just turned over. That's the whole deck. Yeah. Put that back. <laughs> Let's rotate it a bit. Oh. It should just snap into position. Like they did earlier, and I'm going to put that back on top. Right. Okay. So my go. Yeah. Um, so yeah, those actions you can do in any order. I could decide that I want to. Oh, um, controlling a location. Did you want to do that? It uses one conviction. No, not at the moment, thanks. OK, right. Um, yeah, it's worth so, noting yeah. my, uh, my ability for my companion is to add one to my movement. So I would always want to activate that before movement if I was going to do that. Right, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, and what's mine? Let's have a look at mine. My companion is when you add a companion from an inn, gain two honor. Ah, so I want to be going to the inn which is here, and getting a new companion, which I, I can do that. Now, which, where, where are the companions? Oh, I see. Right, so if I spend two red, I get a red companion. Right, gotcha. Okay, well, let's, um, let's do that. Let's go one. Oh, no, I can't get there. Oh. Right, I'll go there. So I've moved two. I'm going to draw two tiles out of the back. One there. And one there. Okay. Is it going in? It's going in. So what have we got? We've got the ancient tomb and we've got the command post. Right, okay. So I've moved. Oh, that's my movement done. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is... So what does the ancient tomb do? Spend two wisdom oh. to get a trait. That's quite a lot, isn't it? I don't have any wisdom at all. Um, and the command post is spend three strength to do something. I don't know what that icon is. It's uh, upgrade your mount, increase and upgrade your mount, upgrade oh, your mount, right. increase your mount speed. Oh, okay, <coughs> nice. Um, now the companions, obviously, there's red ones, there's yellow ones, and the blues, there's blue ones. Is there any? Oh, somebody's in the chat saying, what about the end game triggers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we haven't done that. The game's never going to end. <laughs> Thank you very much. How many of them do we reveal? Two. Two. So when one relic more than the number of players has been acquired, okay, or when one player controls four regions more than each other player. Okay, right, yeah. So I'm not going to get them anytime soon. So, yeah, the three different colored <coughs> companions. Is there any real difference between them? I think a lot of it's what they offer right yeah. so without knowing them i'm just going to sort of pick a well it also spends it, it's also what cubes they're going to give you because they'll always give you cubes of the color that they are oh right okay right um in which case well in fact i'm only adjacent to this one yeah i should have i should have visited the location before i moved that was my fault so i'm i'm visiting the fort so basically that gets me Let's use my keyboard shortcuts, Paul, because you've, you've set them up. Do the keyboard shortcuts work while you're holding a cube? They do. Oh, nice. So I'm going to put one in strength. Uh, and I'm going to put another one in strength. Okay, so there's my two strength. So I've visited that location. Um, I've moved. And then the other option is that I can activate my character. Um, now... Remind me what the proficiency tokens are, because I remember taking them in the last game. They count toward uh, end of it's end of game points, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. And the because uh, you, you get bonuses for having the most of a color, and the proficiency token counts as two cards of that color, two companion cards of that color. Right, but it costs three cubes to get them. Is that right? Looks like. Scroll through rules. Mo's gone quiet. Yeah. Three, three, three cubes for a proficiency. Three cubes for a proficiency. And is that a, is that a bonus action to buy one of those? Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. Gain a proficiency. Right, okay. And you can only gain one on your turn. Limit once per turn. Okay. Vindicate yourself with miles off that and recover influence. Recover a block. Oh, yeah, basically you can take back influence from the board and put it back into your... Um, where does it go? Back in your influence pool. Back into your influence. Right, okay. 
So the only other thing that I can do is um, use my companion or use my own thing. Now, the first time I played it, I had a companion that allowed me to take the cubes back from it freely, but that's not normally the case, is it? No, it's a special ability. So Some, if, yeah. if you're putting cubes onto your companions, do you just never get them back? You have to visit the shrine, which is over here. Yeah, shrine. there's a building. Um, it's yeah. over by blue and over oh, by white. I see. Yeah. It's the white building. Remove so two they, cubes from a companion. Right. Yeah, okay. you pay one. You pay one inspiration, which is the yellow cube, to get to inspiration uh, influence back. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm just going to use my own thing, and I'm going to get. Um, I'm going to get myself a, a yellow thing. I'm going to get myself some inspiration. Right. That's my go done. I think. So we're going to be a bit slow when we get started because we are learning how to play, but we will get quicker as the game goes on. Um, so blue, Mo, you're up. All right. Wait, where's the turn order? Yeah, isn't it clockwise? Um, it's clockwise. It's me. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. I was actually going. Um, with the pieces around the board as they started. No, oh, that's only just to determine one. the first player, yeah. Right, okay. So it just so happens that I was next anyway. Yeah. Right. In which case, yeah, Joe, it's you. Um, right, so... Scorpion Akos is saying, I take cubes from influence, not potential. Yes, did I take them from potential? Okay, yes, I took, I took one from potential, accidentally. There should be eight, eight, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. I think we're good now. Yes, thank you very much. I did take them from the wrong place. Uh, so Johnny's saying, did ahead. we all get our starting points for companions? I believe we did. We're all on 17. Yes, we're all on yeah. 17. We're yeah. all on 17. There we go. Okay, right. Okay, so I'm going to activate my companion, which gives me two strength cubes. So... Oh, the orange play is not in, is it? Right. I'll tell you what, One. I'm just going to... I'm going to get rid of this. There you go. Orange player is gone. Two. Physics. Fun. Okay, whatever. They all fit. Okay, great. And then I can move up to three. Mm -hmm. Ooh, one, two, three. So and I will reveal there and there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The board gets explored pretty quickly, doesn't it? I think you should reveal, shouldn't you reveal every single tile you pass by? I'm not sure. Where's the rules? The rules are up here. Let's yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll reveal the other two, and if I need to reveal that third one, I will. You must reveal all open spaces discovered as you move. Okay. So I, I assume you discovered the third space as well. Yeah. There. Okay, great. Is that? Oh, it's another command oh, there, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I will activate move, and now I can visit. Yeah, for each open space discovered as you move, you must draw a region from the bag and place it on the open hex in the order in which you discovered them. Okay. Kind of well, makes sense. You wouldn't walk along case, with your eyes this, closed. This should have been here, I think. Yeah. Command post was the last reveal. So it should have actually gone oh, here. Oh, I just, I just, yeah, I mean, it was random as random. If you want to move, re, re no, no, it's it. fine. I'm fine. Yeah. So yeah, technically speaking, it should have been placed in the order in which you placed them, but it's fine. Joe was just taking them out and putting them on the board. It's okay. But I guess that's to stop people cheating. Okay, so I'm going to visit... 
Oh, no, oh I, I have enough for while we're waiting. Penny if I want. Uh, it's, it's, it's funny, we've only got one rule book, so if we all change pages in the rule book, we all try and read a different page. Oh, I've got the uh, file from BGG on another yeah. window, so I've flipping it. I should have probably got that. I think reading the rule book. I'm going to do that. When I'm going to get the file. Buy a companion, you buy the face up one. Or the top one on the face deck. down one, yeah. Yeah. Or, a or you can, or you can give up one conviction and then look at the top three and choose one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's right. I remember that. But that's kind of a waste for your conviction. Mm. I mean, if you know you need a specific companion. Yeah. But even looking at the top three, that's not many, is it? You know, if it was look through the deck and take the one you want, then that would be better. Might be too good then. Right. Where is the rulebook on BGG? It's not on BGG. You have to oh, go to the Nebulous site. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah, I, that's the first thing I look. The first place I looked last night was BGG, and then. Uh, Very odd so, not to have a rulebook on BGG. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and visit the in. And the two inspiration, these go back to where? Your influence pool. Influence pool? Okay, so spend yeah. the two inspiration on the black dove. Uh, you only have, or did you already spend it? Oh, no, I'm not purple. You're not I'm purple. purple. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Go I'm off gonna, my influence. I'm going to do that. All right, so I, I'm green, so I can spend the strength. Yeah. Uh, do I want that one? Actually, I'll just visit the fort. Uh, John is saying when you do use Conviction, you draw the top three and all of the cards in the discard pile. Uh, okay. Uh, there is no discard pile. There's only yeah, this right. card over here. But if there I was... Mean, yeah. <laughs> the face. yeah, basically you can choose from the top three or this revealed one. And then one. Yeah. I will go ahead and spend three of these on a proficiency. Oh. There needs to be a drop these at home shortcut. Oh, okay, that'll work. You pick them up and then go back to the camera above your pliable. Yeah, that's that's what I just figured out. And then I take one of these. I think on my hand, or that can go right there. Whatever. Great. Right. And the rules on controlling regions. I think that's the other thing I could do is control that strength, re that fort if I want. Because you visited it, yeah. Yeah, um, might as well. So let's just take a conviction and put it on the... Take a conviction, okay. put it on there. You get two points for doing that. So I will move your score up two. And any other player that now uses that location or visits that location, you will get two honor, I believe. Yes. Uh, and it's also worth another two at the end of the game. And that's me done. Okay. Okay, so I'll move two here. I'll activate the fort. I'll also get two strength. I fancy ice cream. I might have to pop downstairs after a few turns and get some ice cream. Is that my fault because I was eating it before we started? Was you? I didn't see that. Oh, I got away with it. <laughs> then I activated my character. Um, I will control the sport mm. for two points. Or did someone move my? I did. I gave, I gave you the two okay. points, Joe. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Tabletop simulator, interesting. And that's me done. Right, back to David. Yeah, uh, first thing I'm going to do is a bonus action. Uh, I'm going to spend three knowledge to take a knowledge proficiency. Mm -hmm. I guess they just go 
somewhere. Uh, and where do those cubes go back to? Influence. influence. Back, back into influence. Yeah. Okay. Um, then I'm going to activate the academy again. Or visit the academy, rather. So, roll the dice. Yellow, which I've got. Yeah, so you just get an extra yellow. That's fine. Stick that up in yellow. Just get the chat back on screen. I've got the rule book and the chat on my other screen. Then I'm going to um, control, or whatever the correct term is. I'll get there eventually. Control. Uh, it is to control. And then I'm yeah. going to take, take the academy. And that came out of your conviction? That came out of my conviction. So that's ah. two points. It me two points. Uh, so that was bonus actions and visiting. Mm -hmm. So I've got moving and activating. You do. Uh, so I'll activate my companion to get to knowledge. So you have to put a cube on the companion. Yep. Put a second cube on there. Right. But you do get two knowledge. I get two knowledge. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to move. Uh, and I'm going to move one, one, two. Okay, so one new location gets revealed. Another in. It's another in. Yeah, I think that's the last one. Okay. There's only three ins. I, I hope so, because that'd be a lot of ins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you go on. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's. it's pile, it yeah. tells you how it's much there. Three ins. Yeah, there's three ins. Okay, yeah. That's nice. It actually tells you. Yeah, that's a really nice little addition. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it does. You're right. Yeah. I, I also have the page up uh, right. of all the regions. There's a page 10 of the rule book is a reference of all the regions. Gotcha. That's gotcha. kind of my default page for the rules. Right. My go? Yeah. I'm going to move first and I'm going to move one, two, because you can move through other people as long as you don't end the turn yes. on the same spaces then. And I'm then going to. Uh, visit the inn, uh, and I'm going to spend two. Now you can select multiple things, can't you? Yeah, I'm going to spend two of my finest influence. Uh, sorry, two of my inspiration, so I get a yellow companion. So I can either have this one. In fact, do I want a yellow companion? No, screw that. Hang on, change my mind. I've already got a, have I got a yellow companion? I've already got a yellow companion. Don't want another yellow companion. I want a blue companion. So before I visit the inn, I'm going to use, I'm going to activate my own character to get a blue, to get a knowledge. Then I'm going to spend the two knowledge to get a blue companion. Right, do we want this one? For each influence, you may return one influence from another companion to influence me. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I'll take that one. Saves me having to think. So I get that one. Uh, now, I've got a special ability which says when you add a companion from an inn, get two honour. Now, is that a permanent thing? Wait, wait. You, you yeah. have to actually activate that character. Ah, right. You activated your own uh, I time, did. right? I, yeah, yeah, for some reason, I was hoping that might just be a... No, if it says passive, then it's always active. If it doesn't, then you actually have to activate that okay, character. Right. Okay, slight undo. That's going to go back there. So I haven't activated my character yet. So what I'm going to do is I am going to activate my companion. Oh. Okay, I'm going to put two yellow on there, and then I'm going to take two yellow off, and I'm actually going to take a yellow companion instead. Um... And yeah, let's take that one. That's the one I would have taken if I were purple, but I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I get two honor for that immediately. And you flipped the top card of the deck. Yes. Top card of the deck I is did. always right. Okay. Um, now you okay. also get two honor for that. And I get two honor because, yeah, so I get another two because of that. Uh, so that was me visiting the location. Uh, so I could also control the inn if I wanted to, but I don't think I do, because there's plenty of inns out there. 
Um, so I've, I've visited, I've activated, I've moved. Do we want to do anything else? No, I do not. So my go is over. Okay. So... Right. Um, yeah, this is a good game. I do like this. I guess I can do that is way over there, but there's two of them, so... I just have to see what comes up in the middle. Um, so I will activate my companion again. Which gives me two cubes into strength. And then move up to three. Which I'm gonna just move. Well, if I, if I stop here and explore, then I can move again after, right? No. No, you've got to do all well, the no, movement no. first. No, no. When the... But I'm moving by the... Um, it says do them in the... Well, it doesn't matter in this case, because I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to reveal only the one tile. Yeah. But if I moved one more... But do I not reveal it until I remove the one more, or do I, can I stop yes. here? If, you have to complete all your movement before you reveal okay. the tiles. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So Johnny's saying the key controlling locations is to go for the unique ones. There are only one tile for the academy, the ancient tomb, the arcane tower, and the gaping maw. Yep. Yeah. And the okay. monastery is very popular since it's where players can augment their powers. Right. Okay. Arcane tower. There we go. So this is where you get relics from. But you yeah. need to spend two. Yeah, and relic two is one of the end games. Yeah, and if somebody has what is it four relics or something? Oh no, when uh, one relic more than the number of players has been acquired. So five relics. Yeah, five, five relics. relics. <clears throat> uh, what was I going to do next? Oh yes, I was going to use the command post. So three, um, three strength to get a horse. Two, yeah. Three. I'm just trying to make sure I grab those guys. Ah. Oops. So you can draw a box around them, I think, or you can yeah. control and click. I think. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Ones. And then that lets me flip my pedestrian guy and gives me three more points. No. Oh. I'm gonna. Uh, nope, nope. I don't want. Uh, uh where, where was I? I was. Yeah, it's over here. Yeah. yeah. Was it a, was, okay. How do I get just the green disc? Uh, I think you can just uh, go slowly until it says green and then just grab it. Or you can just toss it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was three points. Okay. So that was move and visit and active. And activate because I activated the companion. That left. And now my movement speed is three by default. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to do? And four if you use your companion. Yeah, now it's four if I use my companion. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I don't think there's anything else I want to do because I don't really feel like controlling the Mountie card. So yeah, that'll that'll be me. All right. I will move to to here. I'll visit this command post. Ah, should have controlled it. Well, then you did visit the other. <laughs> and where is my? I'm blue. Okay. So I'll spend three influence to hang on. Why is it? Where did you find your extra? It's just flip it. It's just flip it. Um, uh, it's this, it's... still two. 
it's done a state. Oh, so if it? you move if you move your mouse over it and press oh, the that one, two, three, and four. Oh yeah, okay. I don't have the right one up. Okay, okay. okay. There you go. Oh, press, I see. Okay. Press two. Okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's different states because it's not a deck. A number over a deck will draw that many cards. If got you it. move your mouse over it and you see the little pentacle of the of the blue dots, that means it's got different states. And by pressing the number keys, it toggles through those states. Okay. It's uh, okay. yeah. Well, we all knew what I had done, so that's good anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that was moving. That was uh, visiting a location. I will control the command post for another two. My character, which will give me knowledge. And that's a lot of knowledge. I think that's it, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, visit that in. Yep. Uh, I'm going to spend the two cubes out of there. Are you tossing my books around, David? Well, I'm just getting my cubes out from underneath them, <laughs> and then we're uh, taking that. I'm going to start planning my turn. Because you can plan a lot of stuff ahead of time, I think, can't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm already thinking about yeah, where I'm, I'm going okay. next. Flip the next one up. I wouldn't know what I wanted to do. Right. Um, oh, well. Then I'm going to activate that companion. Which gets me my two blue back. I'll, I'll experiment in another colour at some point. Uh, and for each cube on that, I can return an influence from a companion to my influence sphere, which means I can take one off there. So the only thing I haven't done is move. I'm going to go there. Well, I get to reveal that tile. Okay. It's the other monastery. It is a monastery. Okay. Oh, that means all the holy spires are way over there. I think that's it. Yep. You done? So I think I might visit first. And we might visit this command post here. So that's going to cost me three of my strength, which goes back here to get a horse. So that's my visiting done. I don't think I want to control it. So then I get to move three spaces. Um, one, two, three. Let's move here. I've already visited, so I can't do that again. Um, and the other thing I can do is activate my character. So I'll activate my character and I'll have a blue. Yeah, I'll have some knowledge. Um, and that's me done. Okay. And I'm reading bits in the rule book while we're here. So, Holy Spire and Gaping Maw are the last two. I don't remember fighting monsters. What? What's the oh. monster? I remember doing that when I played. Yeah, I mean, I remember doing it. I just don't remember how it works. Well, you always defeat the monster. It's just that uh, you roll the dice oh, roll and the, then... the... Right, right, right. Okay, and then yeah. Yeah, two and, and then the black dice tells you whether your companion dies or is just fatigued. Right. And then the white dice gives you the reward. Right. Okay. 
just about where I want my character to be going right now. Given that those are the last two tiles. Uh, I have... Ah! Okay. Did, not mean to, did not mean to pick that up. I have to remember that it's WASD to move. Yeah, not the arrows. Yeah. Well, no, I, I started to move the mouse and picked up a tile by, by mistake. Oh, right, yeah. So... Well, it's going to be pretty quick, I think, once I make my decision, anyway. Um, what am I going to do next? I had a plan. It was to do that and do that and do that and go there. I think that was my plan. That was... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to I like this alt thing. Mm-hmm. And you can you can actually look at a face down card without anybody else seeing it. If you hold down Alt and then press Shift, it it shows you the other side of the card without oh, that's flipping it over. Yeah. So uh, it looks like we've lost David. Are you still on the Skype call, David? Yeah, I'm still on the Skype call. I was reading the rule book. You're not in Tabletop Simulator anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not allowed to read the rule book. Then get 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 out of reading it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I need to. So I move one, two, three to here. I activate my character for. Go, David's back in. Blue. For one blue. And then I take the one blue plus the one blue to visit the inn and buy the blue companion. Mm hmm Which is this one. That's annoying, having just saved my seventh camera setting. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> and then... That's two more points. And I need to orient this card somehow. Uh, Q and E. Ah, thank you. Yeah. yeah, and you can actually set the rotation angle. If you look in the top right on the, the white buttons at the top of the screen, you've got a rotations degree. And you can set that to whatever Perfect. you want. And then whenever Perfect. you press Q and E, it will rotate it by that amount. Because for some games, 90 degrees is great. For this game, you probably want 30. Uh, or even 60. I'm not planning on taking control of anything. Let's see, that was activate me, move, visit. And yeah, that's it. Done. Okay. Right. One, two, three. Um, so that's moving. I'll activate my character. More knowledge. Then I'm going to visit the monastery. So how Which does the monastery me... work? So basically you can spend as many knowledge as you want to augment yep your influence or your potential. Yeah. So I upgrade, have one, two, Upgrade eight, your bubbles, five, basically. Yeah, six. So I have six of these. Oops, not those. Oh. How do you pick mind. up multiple things? Ah, that's how you do it. That, that's yeah. easier than pressing control, yeah. All right, my cubes are in the proficiency tiles, so. I'll sort them out. 
I think the most efficient way to pick objects up is being able to left and right click at the same time, which you yeah. can't do on a map trackpad. Yeah. Hang on, before I do that, I should augment first. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm gonna spend one, two, three, four, yeah, five, and then two from here to here. Right. Uh, that's seven. That is Sorry. Seven. One, two, three, four. That was seven. Yeah, that was yeah. seven. You counted five, and then another two. Okay. Six. Six. Okay. Because when then, everything is out of your potential, you can then vindicate. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Where is the rule on vindication? That's page. Movement done. Visiting done. Page Activated. twenty. Okay. Page twenty. Oh yeah. Uh, this guy allows me to augment one more. So that's why I did seven. Oh okay. Right, David, I think you'll go. Uh, and I will yeah. control it that as well. Oh, actually, I'm almost at the 25. One, or, two. Oh, you could vindicate from the 25 as well. Yeah, but you have to have zero potential in your player board. Oh, it's both. Oh, it's mm -hmm. both. Yes. Yeah. OK, it's both. OK, got it. Yeah, I was just reading it, so. Uh, there we go. Right. Only two more locations to explore. That's one of them. Yeah. Right, so uh, bonus action, I can convert a yellow and a blue into a green. You can, yeah. That white, that cube that I've taken off, does that go back into my influence? I think so. Okay. Um... So I've moved, then I'm going to um, visit the ancient tomb. Yep. To get a trait. To get a trait, yeah. I'm going to have a look at the top. I can look at the top one on the deck, can't I? And then choose. Or uh, do I just get the top one blind? I think you get the top one blind. Okay. I think so. Okay. Yes, it is blind. Okay. Okay, fine. Yeah. That's the deck. Put that back. I don't want the one that's on display, so I'll get this one. At random. I will start having a look at my turn then. Uh, I've got more things my to do. My turn's going to go yeah. pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I so this gains me five points when five I get points. it. Oh right, yeah. And I get two points every time I convert to purple. Okay. Nice. Uh, and then I'm going to control. No, you're not. That location. No, yeah. you're not. Yeah, I am. Oh. Right, I need to read the rules on controlling a location that somebody else has already controlled. Cost you two you, Cost you two cubes. Oh. One to bump them, one to, one to okay. bump, one to take. Yeah, I moved you up uh, to... So two I've points. moved and I've visited and I've controlled and I've done three actions. What I haven't done yet is activate. Mm -hmm. um, so I will activate that one. Uh, it gets me cubes. I'll back off that one. And gets me two blue. Because I've got to get blue every turn, apparently. <laughs> okay. You also need to grab five points for your trait. I said it. Did no one do it? No. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, just, oh, what did he I, get, gave, what I did gave he... you the two for the controlling. What did he get the five points for? His get trait. The, trait. the what? The trait that he got, this green card here. Oh, the green card, right. Those yeah. aren't companions, right. Okay, right. No, but they are worth points. Pretty much everything's worth points, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, the word trait was like, I was trying to figure yeah. out what what game component a trait was because I'd forgotten <laughs> that. Right. Are you all done? Yes. Okay, so I've gone one, oh, two, nice. three. So that's my movement done. Uh, I am then going to activate this character here to get two yellow, two inspiration. Um, I might then spend 
that to recruit from the inn. Um, now, what do we want? Do we want this one? When you activate Ela, activate your character, you may convert two influence on Ela to one inspiration. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, uh, no, I don't want that one. I'll take this one instead. Nope, that's the whole deck. Don't take the whole deck, Paul. <laughs> okay, so that's oh, two that's points not bad. for that, plus another two points because of Gren. So that's four points. In fact, I don't know whether my score is right. One, two, three, four. I've used Gren twice. You got so Gren at the start? Nice. Yeah, yeah. so that's four, huh. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I should be on twenty-six. I am on 26. Okay, so it is it is, it is, is correct. Um, so I've activated uh, the character. I've visited the location. I've moved. Um, I do not want to control. So I'm done. I am yeah. spreading out my cubes so that I can get them more easily. Okay, uh, so I'm going to visit the library. Where's the library? Uh, basically getting two knowledge. Oh, it's just the, yeah, it's the two knowledge, yeah. I'm going to activate my companion, which gives me one more blue cube. And then, oh, I also get to activate my character because I activated the... Uh, um, compa the companion lets me also activate the character. Right. Which is going to give me a yellow cube. For those people uh, watching in the chat, um, for those of you that have played it before... And then I've got to move. What modules would you recommend putting in after you've played one game? Um, yeah, let me know. Because I'm, I'm very keen to play this again. All and, of them. And that's me done. Don't say all of them. All of them. <laughs> Awesome. Flying, everything. <laughs> Throw them all in. <laughs> Even yes. the expansion sets that say do not use these expansion sets together. Yeah, David will yeah, just throw yeah. them all in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What could so go I, wrong? What could I go activated wrong? my character, which gives me two knowledge, which, which I'm going to leave here because I'm going to spend yeah. them by visiting I, the monastery. Oh, because you, un, you vindicated. Uh, oh, wait, I'm not I, I, No, I, sorry, my companion. Companion. Oh, companion. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I activated my companion, which gives me two knowledge, which, and then he also allows me to do one more influence or one influ uh, potential. So that's three. And these go back. Johnny's saying the pet menagerie is a good module. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Okay. And Paul's saying take no notice of David because he's a troublemaker. <laughs> And then I'll... Which Paul? Looks done. Uh, fair enough. Uh, John also <laughs> says the Well of Wishes and the Temple Ruins is also good. Okay. Cool. I'll move here and reveal this one. Yeah. Which is and although panel. we're playing the digital game here online, um, what you're not seeing is that the physical board game of this, the production value is really good. Yeah, we were really impressed with the production values yeah. when we played it in person. Yeah. And, and the storage trays for all of the player stuff, it's really well designed. Sorry, did I just move the white player? Where were you, David? You were over here, I think. He was, he was uh, kind yeah, of there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. That, should have, that should have been me over here. Uh, and then Johnny's saying, when you've got a few plays in, add guilds and monuments and then never leave it out. Okay. <laughs> I kind of feel like this is my first play, even though I've played it before, just because it was, I mean, it must have been almost a year ago that we played it. Right. It was four months for me. Well, three months even. And then... Um, That's me yeah. done, by the way. Right, okay. Um, there was a plan. Um, yeah, no, I feel like I'm going to move faster now because I've got a plan. We've always got a plan. Yeah. It's not necessarily a very good plan, but it's a plan. Then right, and then uses I'm, the space I'm going to convert two red and two blue into some vision into two purple 
-hmm. which scores me two points. Oh, he does. I'll do your points. Thanks. One, two. Uh, David Ellis is saying go all in as well. We're not listening to you, Davids. <laughs> <laughs> That's because David used to play games with me where we just get everything out of the box, tip it on the table and go, right, where should we start? <laughs> uh, right, and then I will, I, then I will act, um, visit this location, um, spending the two vision to take a relic. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to tidy my white cubes up. Uh, that's that's the first the relic, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, and then I, I'm going to take the top one off the deck. No, I'm not going to take the whole deck. I'm green. Move quick. Just one. There you go. What you got? What you got? Not telling. Uh, what I have is the Pendant of Potency. Oh, okay. yeah. Four points. And it says, return one influence... When acquired, you, you place one to yeah. three influence there. Uh, return then... one influence, convert one strength to one courage. Okay, you also get this coin for yeah. passing the 25 marker. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Which is actually not a good thing. Oh, unless, no. you have, unless you have uh, something which gives you... I think one of the monsters gives you points for having coins. Why, why okay. is having a coin not a good thing? I think as a tiebreaker, it's just the person who has the most coins doesn't actually is in a bad Wait, where, situation where do you get the coin from first place the coins are here on the 25, 25. so, the, so the oh, oh if you're the first one past them got yeah. it it was 30 okay okay it was 30 um, yeah so the, so that, the relic so is that an any time action just to take that to uh, from yes there? yes okay, great but you can um, only do it three times so that's why yes, there's three yeah, yeah, yeah. There, yeah. limited charge but uh, yeah. it's, it's an any time action right okay um so that was move and visit. So now I've got activate. When do we get the other end game cards? Uh, now, actually, since he passed this, is that that's the coin? I, I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think at the end of his turn, it doesn't really okay. matter. No, I already know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to have to activate myself because I'm running out of cubes. And I might start doing it. Oh, do we want to go there? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go there. Yeah. Okay, so I've moved. That's the first thing I've done. Uh, I am then going to convert that one and that one and that one and that one into green. So I've got two green. Uh, and then I spend two green. But uh, actually, before I do that, I'm actually going to control the, um, the thing. So it costs me one conviction to kick David out. There you go. And then one, and then one more conviction. Yeah. So, so I've, two total, I've, yeah. I've spent two conviction. Where that does my conviction cube come back to? Your influence. Yeah, I've put it back in your influence. Mm. It, the, the, the dead ones never go back to dead. They're just upgrades to the, for the player yeah. Yeah. conversion yeah um so i get a trait so i can either have this one which i want yeah that's the one i want okay so reveal a new one and i get five points one two three four five oh. so i moved i controlled i visited i haven't activated so I am going to activate, I'm going to activate my own character and I'm going to get some knowledge. I'm going to read a book. There you go. Done. Okay. Um, I'm going to visit the shrine. So I spend a cube, I spend a yellow, which lets me take two cubes off of my red fella. No, no, no. Don't pick up the whole red fella. Just the cube. Uh, I'm going to activate my blue companion, which gives me one knowledge. And then I can activate my character mm -hmm. for a red. 
That's actually really good, isn't it? Because then you get one blue and one and of then anything else. I can, and then I can take the two influence that are on her and turn them into one knowledge. So that one of them goes back to my influence and one of them goes up to knowledge. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a really good character, but it is only worth one point, which is why, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I get yeah I get a lot of stuff out of her. Um, yeah, and then I uh, that was I still have to move because that was activate and visit and move. And I believe I don't have anything else I'm going to do there. I'm going to check the rule book while we're waiting. Yep. Okay. So I'm visiting. Shy Aspire to get to Inspiration one, two, three. Oh, did we do the end game trigger thing? Oh, I already revealed one. Oh, so oh, basically, okay, if yeah. one player has got it, I just wanted to look at it. Card, that's yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. Oh, when one player has acquired a card of each of the six colors. Okay, right. Yeah, I, I just missed that that had happened. That's all. And I will activate my character again. Uh, sorry, my uh, companion to get to more knowledge. Uh, okay. That's me done. So uh, I'm coming over from here. Over here, uh, I'm going to visit the pool's location, you swine. Hey, I get two points. Yeah. Um, using the two cubes, and I'll have that. Another trait. Trait. Four points. Uh, yeah, four points. Two, three, four. I've done your points. Lovely. <laughs> so when I activate a character, I get one extra of the chosen attribute. Uh, which is what I'm about to do. I'm going to activate that one to get three blue. So I have activated, moved, and visited. Done. It's going quite quick now. Yeah? yeah, yeah. I think once you once you kind of have an idea of what you want to do, um, don't be daft. He says. <laughs> Slowing things down terribly. Right, I am going to activate... So what does the Black Dove do? When you visit a region controlled by another player, augment one influence to conviction. Hmm. But you still have to visit the region, so they still get two points. Uh, yeah, okay, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to activate uh, this character, Ukter the Water's Touch. Uh, which gets me two yellow, but then I'm going to convert that two yellow into two blue. There you go. Right. So that's uh, that's activating done. Then I've got movement, uh, and I haven't visited yet. So let's. Where do we want to move to? would be an extra two blue. Hmm. Um, we don't want to use the in. I mean, I could use the monastery. I guess I could use the monastery. Yeah, there's two monasteries, isn't there? So one, two, three. Um, yeah, so this monastery is basically spend knowledge to move cubes around. Yes. Uh, no, I don't think I want to do that. I think we're going to go here. And I'm going to visit the Holy Spire and just get myself to inspiration. Yeah, let's do that. So visited, moved, activated it, and that's it. I'm done. Yeah. So that's me. Right. Okay. I, I think I have a rough plan. 
I had I was I was working out the last details of my plan. Right. I I can't take it any longer. I'm going to disappear downstairs for some ice cream. So I will leave you to play <laughs> and talk amongst yourselves. I will be back. Except I've got to de-rig this mic, this headset. Otherwise, my so... streaming software dies whenever I unplug the headset, which is very unusual. There we go. Right. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, I am very low on cubes, so I'm going to have to do something about that. Steal poles while he's not here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, so I will activate my red Bella, which gives me two red cubes. And then move one, two, three. Wait, I was here. Yeah. Doesn't really matter where I move that much. One, two, three, four. To there. I can do the proficiency thing, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, three three cubes for a so so ah you three become a proficiency did I just take one or did I take the whole deck? I took the whole deck. Yeah. There should be one left over. Wait, uh, why are there only two? Did somebody take the third red one? No, I've got a blue one. Okay, there should be three here. It says two at the, like if you hover over it, it says two. It says four oh, okay. courage, four oh, inspiration, four right. wisdom. Okay, oh. so it's there, it's just disappeared. So there should actually be one less than the number of players. So yeah, so that's, let me just yeah. There's says one, there's yeah. four courage. Joe's already got two. Yeah, I've, I've got, got two, and there's one left. Yeah. Okay, uh, and then I will visit. Uh, yeah, one, one less. So I'll just remove one of them. Oh, we got. And then I visit the library to finish yeah, up. Yeah, so we need to take one out of each stack, don't we? Yeah. And that should be me. OK. So I will convert two of my inspiration and two of my knowledge <laughs> into a trait and then I will visit the secret ancient tomb which gives Paul two points no and then I will spend these two well, I usually fight a lot of monsters which this is good for but I don't have any strength or courage so that might not be such a good idea. So I'll take the top one. Right. Back. Let's get my headphones in. And this gives me a trait, which is okay. four points. One, two, three, four. What have I missed? Uh, Joe was running out of cubes, so we just changed the color of some of yours. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> When you attain a trait, acquire a relic, or defeat a monster, you may augment one of one's commission. Oh, this is pretty neat. Okay, so I still need to move, but as a bonus action, I will vindicate myself. Oh, which gives me another five points. So that was one 
bonus action, another bonus action. Is it it? You're two. I need to move. That's one, two. I need to do some catching up here. Two. Yeah, two is fine. I'll move three, sorry. And. Wait, why, why is Paul's piece moving? Oh my god, I did that again. One, two. Is everybody moving my pieces? Was yeah. he here or was he here? Yeah, he was here, right? You, you all, they've all so, purple in there, that's what it two, is. Two, three. I'll move my piece. I think I was here. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I usually no, play no, Paul. no, no, Paul. You were, you, you were here. You were here. He was here. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you no, know, I did. I, I was yeah. looking at where everyone was. That's it. I was there. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I activated either of my characters, or so I will activate my myself. Two strength. All right. And that's me done. You done? Yeah. I should not grab strength. Okay, I'm going to move there. I'm going to give Mo two points. Thank you. Because I'm nice like that. Uh, spending five. <laughs> Dodging around the giant pile of green. <laughs> to move five cubes on my board. We're taking five out of yeah. you, you bunch of people trying to get trying to be nice. Five out of there. Uh, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna activate myself but I get an extra doodah because of me trait. Oh yeah, that traits. Two, two strength and then I'm going to take two cubes off my relic to convert those strengths into courage. Courage. Courages. Oh, red into nice. orange. orange. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Right. So I'm going to freely convert those two and those two into wisdom. Uh, I get four points for doing that because of my creativity trait. So one, two, three, four. I am then going to visit. Uh, no, it's gain two each turn that you convert. It's like gain two each turn. time. Oh, yeah. okay. Do I just do one then? Oh, what do, do, do milk the points? <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll just do one then. Okay. Um, right. Okay. So I did one, which means that goes back there. Okay. Yeah. So that's that done. So I did one. Uh, which means I don't have enough now to, uh, to buy an artifact, so I'll do something else instead. Um, in fact, that was a free conversion, wasn't it? So, one, two, three to here. Um, I will then use this character. Did you get those four points, Paul, for uh, for doing that? He only should have gotten two points. Yeah, I'll take so. two off. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. We've got two points for doing it. Thank you. Uh, I will activate this character, which gets me two yellow, but and then I'm going to spend two yellow um, on getting another companion now. Uh, I don't want that one, so I'm going to take this one. Okay. Do like me yellow companions. And that is two points. One, two. I'm going to move to... I'm going to move one how exciting uh, i'm going to go ahead and take control of the monastery 
Mm-hmm. Which gives me two points. Hey, points! <laughs> I remember those. Uh, and then I'm going to use the monastery. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. I've got seven cubes in there. I'm just going to move Paul's cubes out of the way so that I can just grab all of mine as one. Ah! Physics engine, hard. There we go. So I'm using seven of them, which is going to be, I'll do the same thing Mo did earlier. Um, five of these. We can drag one, two, three, four, five of these up there, and then two more from influence to conviction. And all these can go back into my I have cubes again. I'm so happy. Uh, and then I will activate my blue care. Uh, nope. <laughs> use all my cubes to activate one character. Uh, use her to act activate the blue, what's her name, which gives me a knowledge and also lets me activate my character which will give me a oh where am i going with this i'm just going to add on two points because the chat has reminded me that i used my companion ability to recruit so thank you it's also my turn in through the ages thank you so i'll do my through the ages turn quickly while we're playing this now that's multitasking i just had to figure out what color cube i'm getting because i've moved i've visited and i've activated and I converted, or I can convert. Uh, four, I'll get another blue. Oh, barbarians, Arr, who put that in the deck? I hate that one. <sighs> well, I live in fear of that when I, when I have the most culture. Yeah, uh, I did have the most culture. Are you in the same game as me, Paul? Or is that the other Paul? Uh, it's the same game, yes. I am, really I am done. I am done. Ultra engine going. Okay, oh yeah. Right, done. Yeah, I noticed I was moving the wrong direction last turn, which is disappointing because it's wasting. My that's turn. not. That's that's not you. That's oh, me. again? Yeah. Oh, where am I? Apparently, we all play purple. <laughs> <laughs> Just go by the color of your hand. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, the color of your hand. Playing a game earlier in the week where there were four resources in the game that were. Um, red, green, blue, and yellow, I think. And the four yeah. player colours were red, green, blue, and yellow. Oh. Sat at different seats on the table. And it was oh, driving me nuts. <laughs> okay. I moved. I want to activate my character, which is going to give me two reds. And then I'm going to spend three of those red to upgrade my mount one more time. Which gives me four points and then it it is you're going through the ages if you're able to take your turn while we're playing this <laughs> i'm actually i actually told my, my through the ages people that i'm going to burn into some reserve and just take the day and not think about through the ages right so i activated my character i visited this command post mm -hmm. yeah um, hang on. I did activate my character, yeah. I did move. Okay. So I think I'm done, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to visit this location and fight a monster. Oh, fight, fight, fight. Yes, quite. Um, so let me take that one. If you can. Now. Draw wow. us the living darkness. Now what happens? You have to roll some dice. Roll the black die and the white die, right? Okay. Okay, so your character dies. Uh, actually, which? how many characters do you have? So Sorry. it's the one that has the least <clears throat> numbers. So this guy is 47, this guy is 45. So this guy is fighting the monster. Oh. So right. he dies unless you spend a conviction, which you don't have. Which I don't so, have. Yeah. So you lose that guy, but his influence cubes come back here. 
Yeah, that's the one that was letting me cycle cubes. That's a that's a that's a shame. Yeah, but then you it's also the risk get of fighting monsters. You get one wisdom. Wisdom and four points. Uh, right. I'm not going to move. You do have to move, though, don't you? You do. Oh, you have to move. Do I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, at least once. Okay. Yeah, you have to take little tiny baby steps if you don't want to move much. Well, I've got it. I remember that from the last game, from the first game we played it, that like, it's very annoying, but you yeah. do have to. You can't stay on a space and camp it. Oh, that, that was me. Oh. No, not them. I'm too far zoomed out. I can't do that. I'll get them back. I spent, I spent them doing the if I in. Uh, so the question is, what do I? What do I want to activate? Yeah. I'll activate myself for two blue. Two blue? Oh, I've got a trait. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, nice. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah, that's me then. Well done. Right, so yep. I am going to convert some inspiration and some knowledge into a wisdom, which gets me two points. Uh, I am then going to activate... No, I'm going to move next. And I'm going to move... Uh, <laughs> you might just move one. Yeah, I'll just move one to there. Uh, then I'll spend this to wisdom to buy myself a trait. Uh, don't really want that one, so I'll take this one and see what it is. And it is wanderlust. Four points when you move four or more on one turn. Get any point? Okay, it's four points. One, two, three, four. So I've passed the coin. Yep. Grab that. Um, and so I've moved. I visited. I haven't activated. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to activate this character, which gets me two yellow and a red if I don't have any red. I don't have any red. So I, do, I have no strength, so I do get some strength. One, two, and I get some yellow. Right, that's me done. Okay, I'm going to activate my blue character, which putting a cube on her means that essentially I'm getting two knowledge out of it because one cube, one knowledge goes out, and then the two from her, uh, one of them goes back to my influence, and the other one goes out. So I'm just going to take both these cubes. Oh, we get another end game card, don't we? Yeah, you have yeah. to reveal this, yeah. And it is when one player has six or more. Uh, six courage, or more what? Courage, vision, or wisdom. Wisdom. <laughs> it's quite hard to get. Got it. Yeah. All right, so that's most, two more most of those. Dispense. I think this uh, is the most likely uh, game trigger. And then I'm going to okay. visit the monastery, spending three of my cubes. Right. Yeah, I'm just going to spend the three. Spending three of these. Uh, watch me horribly act, deal with the physics engine to pull my last three out of potential into influence, which means I should be able to vindicate now, yes? Yep. 
Yes. All right, so I flip that and get five points. Five points. Got to start catching up to everybody. Yep. Oh, and I should have activated my character before then, which would have been a single cube because I hadn't vindicated yet, which would have been a... Can you not activate after you've vindicated? Well, no, no. As part of my... I, I activated the blue oh, character. sorry, yeah. And part of that is activate the character at that time. So I have yeah. one more cube to put out. Uh, it's gonna be. Oh, actually, that's a good question. Oh no, no, I'm not purple. Okay, that's not a good question. It'll be, <laughs> it'll be strength. It'll be strength. Uh, and then I have to move still. That. Um, going to move to to there. Okay, that's me. So I can move four. I'm going to move to this inn. Um, I'll active my character, which gives me two strength, which I'm going to use that two strength. Onion, so I'll grab this one. Which gives me two points. What is a good winning score in this game? I have no idea. Okay. I don't, I don't remember <laughs> our scores. Answers in the chat. What's a good winning score for the basic game? Yeah, I was going to say it probably varies a lot depending on the expansion modules, doesn't it? Yeah. So I did move. I did visit the hen for this. I did activate my character. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Uh... Right, David's taking his turn, I'll plan mine. Oh my god, I... Hang on. I'm going to activate myself for two blue, which I'm then going to visit the location, spending the four cubes that I've got there, giving Mo two points, because I'm nice like that. You can I'll come do down you. and give me points. Yeah. I'll do your points, Mo. There you go. Um, and that moves me last three cubes from potential into influence and a cube from influence into conviction, allowing me to vindicate. For five points. Five points. Oh, missed. I think I'm going to stay as a scumbag. Uh, so I don't think I've always vindicated myself, actually, in, in all the games. This is the first, yeah. probably the first or second time I've vindicated myself. Okay. So I've activated and I've visited. Oh, there should be a monster here. Nice. You just got to move then. Yeah. Unfortunately, someone's standing in my way. <laughs> well, you can move through, you just can't stop. Well, yeah, hence the fact that they're standing in my way. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'll move there. Okay, so I kind of had a plan, but I might change my mind because that is, that is my. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert an inspiration and a knowledge into wisdom, because that's just a free easy two points on my turn. Um, so how do you get... As long as you have the cubes there. Yeah, you get cubes back from your companions at the shrine, so it costs inspiration, and you can take two cubes back from any one companion. Right. Okay. That's why Elia has been, or Alina has been an amazing one for me, because she gets rid of them herself. Mm. There was uh, a yellow one that did that too. Yes, there was, yeah. I'm going to activate this one. 
So that gets me. Uh, it gets me two yellows. Oh, um, the yellow one's still there. Is it? Yeah. Okay. And I get a knowledge now. I, I I'm running out of cubes now, so I've I've activated my character. Wow, I, you are out of cubes. You're literally yeah. out of cubes. Um, I haven't visited the location yet, but I can't visit the location. Oh no, I can. Yeah, that, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to have to move. We'll go three. We'll go to here, uh, and I will visit the shrine. Oh, in fact, it's got a colon, so I can use multiple ones. Yes. Excellent. You can so I'll do use... it as many times as you can afford. Yeah. So I'll do. I'll use two inspiration, which goes back here to remove two cubes from there. And two cubes from there. And now I have cubes again. So I activated, I moved, I visited, uh, and that's me done. Okay, so I'm going to take yeah. control of the arcane tower for two. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, activate my blue friend for a knowledge up into blue which lets me activate myself for two strength because i'm vindicated i'm going to convert two strength and two uh knowledge into two vision so all of this goes back to my board. Do you want to know a quick way of picking up multiple cubes? I would love to know a quick way okay, of picking up multiple cubes. So what you do is cubes. you left click on one of them like that and hold your, hold the left mouse button down and then right click on the other ones and it picks them all up. Clever. Oh, well now they're all selected. So oh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, that, that gives me two of those, which then I've used the building to spend the two of those. Mm-hmm. Do you want and the Shield of Dread up. and Wonder? Oh, no, I'm taking Mystery Meat. You're taking Mystery Relic. And yeah. Mystery, or ah, not the whole deck. Relics. Not the whole deck. <laughs> not the whole deck. Okay. Oh, and I can just put that. So yep. that is... Four points. Four I'll points. Do, I'll do your points. One, two, and three, I can four. convert yellows into greens up to three times. I actually have plenty of cubes, so I will do that. So wait, it's left click, right click. What is it? Right click? No, left click, left press, hold. Yeah. And uh -huh. then click as many times as you want on the right side, on the right click. But your mouse, your mouse should be oh, on. Oh, before the, I move, before I move. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. There you go. It just, it just picks oh, there up we the go. ones. Uh, John go. says he's seen a winning score range from 61 to 128. Okay, so, yeah. so that was... Let me double check. Different. Oh, I have not moved. The one thing I have not done is moved. Uh, because I had this entire plan that was based on where I was standing. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to move the tile. I'm going to move the me. Oh, we can lock them in place now. That, that <laughs> will stop them accidentally being moved. Three. Yeah. Two, three, done. Yeah, so all the tiles should now be... And you gave me the four points, yeah. I'm yeah. not as dreadfully beh far behind everybody as I was. Okay, I'll activate Quara, the unshakable, which gives me two strength but also allows me to turn one conviction into two influence or knowledge, which I will convert into influence. Valuable conviction, though. Yeah. Oh, Paul, hitting alt of the board. That's... Uh... What's that? I just was meaning to hit alt over a card, and I hit it over the whole board. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so I just got a <laughs> picture of the blank board. Yeah. Okay, and then I will do this courage conversion. And then I'll move one, two, three, four to here. As the least. Oh, she's the one that might die. Do 
Why would I do that? I just gave up my only conviction. Yeah, why not? So... Okay, that's not so bad. So fatigue, I think you put two cubes or is it three on your character? I can't remember. Whereabouts is this? Is this in the it's point page eighteen? Monsters? Page page eighteen. Page yeah, 18. two influence to my character. All right. So that's not so bad. I'll just put two influence on her. Two influence. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I also get one more courage. So I spent two. I'll get one back. And oh, I should have decided which monster I was gonna. Oh, I didn't want this one. I was gonna take the top one. All right. I was fighting this guy. So that's six points. Oh no! Somebody's ahead of me. Everyone's six ahead points. of me. And he gives me two points for each of my proficiencies. Nice. So I might want to work on those. Right, David. I think you're up. Yeah. Uh, I will activate myself for three. Three moves. things. Wow. Uh, and then I will acti uh, Then I will visit the location, spending two of the three things. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go potluck. I'll go off the top. Mystery red. companion. Yeah, whoever you are, you're my you're my friend now. Uh, Jack, point. Wow. Uh, lose a... all attributes, gain a point for each. Wow, that's that's committing. Yeah, that is committing right there. <laughs> but that's when you actually activate him. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. 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 You like, could actually oh, build no. up your attributes and then activate the character, and then you yeah. can do his ability. Well, yeah, when the, or when the game's almost over, say, mm, yeah, give me a whole bunch of points. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I'm also going to um, take control of that pub. Yeah. The pub. Right. And then I've got to move. There. Hold on. Yes. So I convert a knowledge and an inspiration into a wisdom, getting me two points. One, two. Uh, it sounds boring. Rinse and repeat. I then move two spaces here. I then activate the ancient tomb. I spend that two wisdom. And I take. I don't think we want this one. Nah, we don't want that one. It's rubbish. Take that one instead. Uh, and it is impunity, six points. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six. What does that do? Other players must pay double rounded up for abilities that affect any of my cards or blocks. There you go. Take that. Yeah. I'm done. Oh no, hang on. I've not activated. I've moved. Yeah, I've not activated a character. Um... So let's do that. Let's activate this character and I get two yellow and a blue. Okay, now I'm done. All right, so I'm going to move to three, 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 three spaces. I'm going to activate. Almost at this coin. Let's have a look at these. It doesn't matter. I was going to, I've got to activate my red guy but um oh no it doesn't oh that's not right that's how fine. many relics are owned only two relics are owned i miscounted on that uh so i will hmm. instead i gotta learn to count is what i gotta do <laughs> Oh, 
nearly as fun. Somebody has a very squeaky chair. Yeah, that's me. Okay. All right. Uh, I have not lost. Catch up. Oh, I'm going to flip back to the chat. See what's happening in the chat. Uh, what is happening in the chat is, yeah, Johnny's saying that there's a great card to use at the end of the game. I assume the one that you just got, David. <coughs> Well, I kind of have a medium-term plan in this game, and my medium-term plan is now done. I'm now not okay. sure what to do next. So I'm going to activate my blue character, which is going to net, and then activate myself to also put two blue out, which essentially means that four blue will go out, because the two on the character will become one, uh -huh. then the one from the uh, uh, her, and then the two more from me. So four blue. Wow. Whoa, where did they go? I just Your hand, I think. How do I get oh yeah, the, how do I get yeah. them out of my hand? And yeah, just oh, drag them away. There's little green question marks. <laughs> yeah. I just lost a whole bunch of them. Oh, they're over there. Okay, I see them. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. There's one now. One, two, three. As long as they don't fall off the table into the internet oblivion, right? Well, anything that falls off the table reappears in the middle of the table and drops down. Oh, that's very useful. unusual. That's very useful. Unusual. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and visit the monastery and convert. I will demonstrate here by throwing this off the table. And there it is. <laughs> Just randomly appears. And then convert. No, actually, that's fine. That's interesting. Care about. Uh, that's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, I will go ahead. You have to visit control the same place. That's fine. So four cubes back to uh, visiting the monastery, taking the four cubes, essentially upgrading four to the conviction. Right, yep. Yeah. Can I just ask a question? When you increase your movement speed, should you gain the points on it straight away? Yes. In which case, I'm owed another three points. Because I didn't do that. Let's just, let's, let me just add up my points to check. Will you stop uh, it with the points? 10. I can't help it. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, yeah. 23, 24, 30. And then move 1, 2, 3. Oh, I've lost count. 6, 10, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, I've used that three times, so that's 30. And I'm done. And then you control two here. Oh, no, it's two. I can't work it out. Somebody could rewind in the video and check when I, when I increased my movement speed, did <coughs> I get three points? I can't remember if I did or not. Um, at least not worth it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I am going to activate my character. Work to influence. One, two, three, four to here. To visit this in. And pay to influence to grab the top one of the deck, which is two points. Oh, 
Okay, so he has a passive ability. Players cannot control any of my regions if I'm adjacent to them. Okay. I have to be adjacent to the location. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so that's visiting the location. I've activated my character. And yeah, that's me done. All right, David. Yep, I'm going to activate myself for three yellow. Uh, then I'm going to spend two yellow visiting in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I forgot to activate this trait when I defeated my monster. Uh, it allows me, when I defeat a monster, to convert one influence to sure. a conviction. Yeah, okay. Yeah, is that fine? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yep. Uh, so that's my yellow companion. Let's have a look at that. Uh, that's three points. You can see that. Yeah, and that is... When Jikra joins your party, augment three influence cubes to conviction. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, some of these characters I've never seen before. Uh, so I might as well. Three. You you've, you've, you've haven't converted the third yet. All oh, right. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what then. I'll uh, <laughs> I'll stick that on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's two points. Um. So that was, so I've activated myself, I've visited the location, all I need to do is move, and I'm going to move there, and then I'm going to say, gentlemen, I have one card of every colour. What? Okay, so we finish out the round. Are you, are you last? Round. Yeah. David was so first. Badly. David was first. David it was says, first. It says the next round is the last round. So yeah, I think we finish this round. Play we'll one one more. Two more turn. We'll have two more turns. Yeah, I'll put one more turn after this one. Yeah. Uh, well, I have lost. Ouch. Wow, I have lost this game pretty badly. Yeah. I'm going to um, convert some inspiration and some knowledge for a cheap two points, which gets me another coin, which gets another scoring card, which it doesn't matter because <laughs> the, the end of the game is triggered. Uh, so that was yeah. my free thing. Now, do I want to do this? Oh, what's the best way of me getting points? What is endgame uh, points? I don't think there is any. Oh, it's just your secret missions. Yeah, your secret mission. That's it. And, and then some, some, is... monsters, some monsters give you endgame scoring as well. Okay. Um, so is there any way that I could get another one of those by the end of the game? There probably is. Yeah. Well, no, the, the mastery tiles are end game points. Mastery tiles, yes. Yeah, like, mastery I, tiles. Because I've got like all this red over here. It better be worth some points. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I've got the green and the the yellow. Oh, in fact, yeah, yeah, should do. Um, so yeah, if I go, if I move to here, uh, I then activate this character to gain two yellow which I then spend immediately to hire a yellow character. Yeah, I, uh, I will just take this one. Oh my God, now I've got to fly around the board and figure this out. Which is two points. Uh, and then another two points because I recruited using that character. So there we go. I moved, I visited, I activated. Uh, and I did a free bonus thing. So my go is done. Okay. All right. So two turns to get as many points as possible. Right. Uh, Luke's just joined the chat. Hi, Luke. Thank you for joining in. So. Not sure what you're on about with the story. Presumably that's something to do with the game. I feel like that's going to be the most points I can get. So. Oops. Uh, I'm going to activate, or I'm going to go ahead and gain control of this in here for two points. I'm going to, oh, wait, I have to visit it to do that. I don't, that's not actually, I'm going to 
control whatever I visit. I just don't know what I'm going to visit yet. Oh, that coin that I just took. I shouldn't Act have taken that. It does. It says once the conditions oh, okay. of one or more active endgame trigger cards are met, remove any remaining trigger tokens from the honor track. Okay, so I'm yeah. activating my blue character for one plus the two from me, so three blues, which I'm immediately going to go ahead and convert to a blue knowledge proficiency token. Yeah, I'm not going to get any of them, am I? I don't think I need them, though, because all they do is give you effectively two cards for the... Yeah. Yeah. And I think... Well, I, there's I... Should... Wait, wait, where's the third one? Uh... That's a good question. Should there be three of each? Yeah. There should. One's here. David's got one. Yeah, David's got one. So he and I will be tied for mastery right now after I pick this one up. Yeah. I don't know where the other one is. It's got lost. Okay, well, I don't think... Unless if someone needs it, then... Oh, no, it's there we'll now. To... Oh, it's one of those. Yeah, things. it's it's weird. It's dropping through the board. Okay, point. got it. Sometimes it just uh, seems to drop through the board. Geez. And then... Wait. Ah, uh, board state hard. <laughs> Stand up. There you go. Oh, there you go. Okay, you got that. Okay. So... My relic was so useless. One, two, three, to go over here, visit the library for two knowledge, and take control of it with a conviction. Two points? Two, yeah, there's the two points. Well, so, there you go. And two, and I get the two knowledge. Okay. And Mo, for your penultimate turn. Maybe I'll make maybe I'll do some respectableness here. Respectableness, whatever. I was so involved in the mechanics, I just totally didn't even think about strategy until it was way too late. But Yeah, I, I just I just got a well, couple like, of cards that seemed to work and just I just kept repeating. Well, I know, yeah, you things. guys got some synergy too. I didn't get any mm. of that. But I remember playing it and thinking about that, but it's the same thing. Like I've been playing a lot of newer because of the lockdown. I've been playing a lot of newer games online, and like the first time yeah. I play with any interface, like you might as I might as well throw the game out, right? Right. Because I'm thinking about the interface. I'm thinking about this. Or I played Scythe, and you can't rewind stuff halfway through. So if you do something wrong, you've just done it. Right. Right. And I'm so used to through the ages. Undo. Which, undo, undo. Which is. Yeah. Which we, which has got the what we call the Vlada rule, which is how yep. we do things at home. Yeah, you know, you can always rewind up to the point of new information. That's yep. how I, we I, always play games. I use that in every single game I play. Yeah, exactly. So having the interfaces not quite be that. Yeah. There's always a learning curve. Yeah. And this is this is a whole new level of learning curve, but I'm glad <laughs> I'm doing it because I've been meaning to kind of get into Tabletop Simulator for a while. Mm. Yeah, it took me a couple of games in it to get used to the interface, and then as soon as I learned the the certain keyboard shortcuts and picking up multiple objects, drawing cards, suddenly it became yeah a whole lot easier. Uh, anyway, Mo, are you doing your turn? I can see things moving around, but he's gone quiet. Well, he's probably muted himself and yeah, chatting away merrily. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. No, because right. as we're talking, I wasn't. I was just taking out my turn without talking. That's fine. Okay, so I'm fighting this monster. She dies. Yeah. Um, I think when somebody dies, you do lose the two honor. Did did you lose yours, David? No. Yeah. 
you do lose two points for that. that makes sense. So, Nalder and Nalder. <laughs> yes, it does say on the rule there. If your cha your champion and his oh. her honor is lost. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You oh. may use one conviction to prevent this. Yeah, I'm going to gain a conviction, but I assume you need to have the conviction yeah, before, yeah. before that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this one gives me one strength. Oh, I don't think I can catch Paul. Okay. Um, so this monster gets me six points. I just hope I can catch anybody. <laughs> six points. Right there. Um... I don't think I'm going to get many points in the last. I don't know. I I'm have. going to walk away for a moment because I need to use the restroom. So yeah, I yeah, will yeah, no problem. Act. Um, Quick, while he's gone. I gain my Gee, six thanks. points. I need to get one conviction for doing that. And I will spend this conviction to control this gaping maw for an extra two points. Yeah, now that he's gone, I can say it, that um, Joe's just stitched me up. <laughs> okay, so I did move. I activated the character who died. Who gave me a bonus, and I did get this monster. One of my bonus actions was to control. I have three. It's kind of useless to gain this efficiency. All right, I'm done. Okay, yeah. so we're starting the last round. Yeah. With David first. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna visit this location, which gets me to knowledge. Um, I can control that location for two points. Mm -hmm. um, then I'm gonna activate this character, which generates me to strength. What, Krajak the Unruly? Yeah, and then I pull all my cubes off the board which for a point. Which is... Is... <laughs> is, it, is it all of the cubes? Yep. Including wisdom and... Yep. Right, okay, wow. How many points is that then? I'm still going. <laughs> Not enough, I think, is the answer, Paul. Wow, look at that Four. points. You. Um, eight. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, still eight point move. Uh, yeah, but Joe's just cost me points. So, uh, and then. Uh, what, what have I done? Uh, yeah, you'll find out in a minute, won't you? Uh, <laughs> wait, does, does Endgame Mastery tie break friendly or unfriendly? No, there's no. If you either have the most or you don't get it. Okay. Oh. For the proficiencies, yeah. Right, no, I'm talking okay. about mastery. Mastery totals. Oh. Mastery, which is what this? Yeah. So you either. Oh have... yeah, in a tie, nobody gets it. Yeah. Yeah, nobody gets it. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got to move somewhere. Um, so for just sheer circular irony, I'm going back to where I started. <laughs> I don't know if you can do that. <laughs> <but that's fine. laughs> right. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate my own character to get a knowledge. I'm then going to use the knowledge and the inspiration to get a wisdom, which gets me a sneaky two points. Uh, and then, boringly, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to activate uh, the boring thing again, and I'm just going to take that one because it's it's five points. One, two, three, four, five, and that's me done. None of this being vindicated nonsense. Yeah. Hey now, who's who's graffitiing my board? <laughs> um, well, let's have a think. There's David, uh, Paul, yeah. and Mo. <laughs> yeah. And there's colors. And there's colors as well. So yes, I 
I don't think I can blame that one on anybody else. This is what happens when you leave the table. That's what happens when you leave the table. What I'm doing is I'm demonstrating what you can do within Tabletop Simulator. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm going to move to... Yeah. Move to... We can also flick things, can't we? Where's the flicking? Here we go. Flick. Let's flick that. Unless I am... Yeah, unless I'm missing it, as this should work. Uh, activate myself for two strength. Use the two strength and the two knowledge to convert to two vision, and then visit the arcane tower to convert yep. the two vision to get a relic into a relic. Which is, let's see, do I want the face up one? That doesn't Guaranteed really help points. right now. It's a guaranteed five points, but it doesn't do anything. No. I doubt any of them do anything. Yeah, I'll just take the guaranteed five points. I will add your five points on. One, two, three, four, Thank five. You. Okay. So, uh, Mo, for the last action of the game, I believe. And then... No? Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. I, I, can do the usel- I can do the useless thing. Okay, do the useless thing. <laughs> so I, 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 put, I get to put one cube on it and then take that cube off it to put onto one of my companions and gain one of the attributes and gain the attributes for it. So I will right. go ahead and put this there so that I can gain two, two useless strength. Right. Okay. Now I go off. You go. Like mode. I said, I had a useless action. I needed to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you gave me the five. Yeah. 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 I was going to seal this, but I was by taking this proficiency token, but I realized I can't get three knowledge in one go. Mm. So oh, uh, that was supposed to be seven points. But anyway, I will activate my own character um, to get to get two inspiration. I will spend two inspiration. I'm not the one you need to steal stuff from anyway, right? Oh, sorry. Those shouldn't go here. And two courage to get two courage. Two courage. And then I'll spend two courage to fight a monster. Mm-hmm. And I'll grab a random one. This one, yep. Yeah. Okay, what you got? What you got? Twin voices of fear and despair. Four points only. Oh, I don't have any in-game yeah. trigger tokens. That's kind of useless. Hmm. Oh well. My other roll. option was to upgrade my mount to to get five points. Yeah. Uh, they could have been useful. So you have to roll both of those dice. Yeah. Actually, I might get something that gives me a proficiency token. Oops, that's this guy dead. Um, oh yeah, that would have been four points instead of five. So yeah. Yeah, I should have gone for the guaranteed five points. Yeah. So that loses you two points, but gains you four. So it's just a net two-point gain. Yeah, I do get one conviction, however, and one books. I have added your two points on. Yeah, and one knowledge. Um, And then I have to move. So I will move here. I will control this. For an extra two points. Two points now. Yep. Yeah. I wish yeah. I could have controlled one more thing at the end of the game, but I had to use the purple buildings, which I already controlled. Yeah, and that's it. Okay. So end of game scoring. What's the first thing we should do? Control of locations? Uh, no, it says uh, uh, honor award honor for master tiles, award honor for end of game bonuses, award honor for secret quests, and then two honor for each control is how it's written in the rules. Okay. okay. So let's so that knowledge. Knowledge. So, Who has the most knowledge? Where's the tie? There's a tie. There's a tie. Yeah. It's a tie. Okay. It's... No one gets that. Red. No one gets that. You have that. That. That's me. Red. That's not me. It's yep. me. It's green. So you get that, which is five points. Five I think. points. Yeah. Yep. So. Yellow is Paul. Yellow is me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. So that's five, that's points, five points for Paul. Points. Green is also five. Paul. Yep. Another five? Seven points. Seven. That's seven. Oh, yeah. yeah. Five, six, 
Seven. And orange is me, which is seven points for me. Seven. Purple is me for seven points. Purple is Joe for seven. Yeah. There you go. Have a tile. Yeah, so those things are worth points. Pay attention to them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, the next? next thing it said was endgame bonuses, i.e. monsters. Not yeah, three. I've got one that gets me six. Oh, I should have gone for the relic instead of the monster. That would have been six points. Oh, well. I didn't look at my monsters so correctly. Okay. Any other end game points? No. Okay. So, uh, then it says secret, secret quests. Quest. That's seven points for me. Yeah, I did both of mine. Uh, no, because you pinched it off me. There's only one. You don't have. You only have one secret quest, not two. Yeah, but you can do both of them. You can do oh, both. Yours, yours both wasn't vindicate yourself. The second one. Oh. Oh, you do both oh, you parts do of it. You can do okay. both. You can do one or the other or both. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Well, like one's a subset of the other for me, really, because it's win strength mastery at the end of the game, and then have a strength proficiency tile. But, okay. okay, I'll take eight yeah. points. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two points for controlling ah. regions. Uh, I've got one. Four, six, eight. I've got four. I've got four as well. It was that 71 the 79. Eight. Yeah. If I had not killed my guy off, one, two, and then well, got like six points. Well, I caught up a little better than I thought I would, one, anyway. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two. I would have been ahead of Paul by one point. Yeah. 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 Uh, if, mine hadn't, if mine hadn't died, I'd have won the blue mastery, which is worth five points, and completed my goal, which is worth five points, and had two more points. You guys just that, fighting monsters, it's too dangerous. Just, just well, yeah, wander. That, that losing that companion yeah. was, was a 12 point swing. Wow. Well, uh, yeah. Which and how, well, up to although knowing, although knowing the risk ahead of time, you'd have just kept a conviction for that. Yeah. yeah. Or, or I just, well, I, I was going for one of each color, be, well, the monster I picked up was the score a point for one of each colour. And I, I thought I might catch you up if I ended the game before you lot got going. Because it felt like you were all building up for something and I'd sort of peaked. So I, went, I, went I was building up for something the, uh, in the next game after yeah, this one. <laughs> but uh, sadly not. Well, yeah. Not. yeah, I mean, I just, I just, I just kind yeah. of repeated things. I had, I had the character that got me two points every time I recruited a companion for minions. So I thought, right, I'll do that a few times. Then I had the one that um, gave me points every time I converted into a um, wisdom, and because my secret quest was to get three traits, which I, which you know, I needed wisdom for that. It was like, well, I'll just gradually gain yellow and blue, gradually convert them into wisdom, and then just keep yeah. buying traits. And that's that's all I did really. I didn't I didn't really do anything else. Um, but there's it lots of different ways you can approach this game. There's lots of different things you can do. It didn't really help that my synergy was not great because the relic I got, that first relic I got was like, I was not anything to do with inspiration or wisdom. Yeah. And so that didn't help. And the the fact that I had the red at the beginning and had red as a secret goal was good. But then the companion I got that was really powerful was blue. Yeah. I'm like, uh, red, blue, purple, great. But if the purples didn't have anything useful for me, it was like, ah, and then I was yeah. too slow. So still, I feel like I caught up a bit, so that was not bad. Yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed playing the game, not just because I won. I, it is a nice game to play. Now, let's, let's talk about the theme, because this is one thing that's been talked about, not just in the chat today, but it's been talked about overall, as to whether this game has any theme or not. And I, I can sort of, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, okay? At the end of the day, I move to a location and I get two red cubes and I put them in a space. And then I move to another location and I spend those two red cubes and I get a card and it does this. In that respect, there's absolutely no theme. It is just a dry Euro game of moving cubes around. However, this location here is the library. You go to the library, you get two knowledge. That makes sense. You recruit companions at the inn. That makes sense. You know, you get relics at the arcane tower. That makes sense. So the yeah. theme is kind of there. 
you know, naming you, things appropriately is not necessarily yes. theme. It's not, but it's kind of nice. That it's think, oh, light theme. It's light theme. I'm going to go to the yeah. library. What does going to the library do? I read some books. I gain some knowledge. Okay, so it, it's kind of there in that. Um, also, I like the fact that obviously you're trying to vindicate yourself or redeem yourself. And you do that by going to the monastery. You know, the monastery yeah. is where you can spend your knowledge at the monastery and that's where you can move the, the cubes around so it, it, it's kind of there a little bit but yeah you know, i don't you could, i don't play games you, for themes you could re-theme the game and retitle all the spaces cleverly and you wouldn't and it wouldn't affect the gameplay exactly yeah yeah you totally yeah. could this could be set in space or it could be about dinosaurs well maybe not but you know yeah, it, um, it could literally be anything, and that and that. Oh, I'm sure you could make it about evil. dinosaurs if you really wanted to, because yeah. you can make anything about dinosaurs if you really want to. <laughs> That's true, um, but as as for whether I, you know, the game's a good game. I think the game is a good game, and we were slow because we were playing online. Uh, two of us were playing it, you know, having gone into it. Well, Joe, you were having to relearn it as well. The only person who was comfortable, I think, with the game was Mo. Um, and we did. It was pretty much over in about two hours, I think. Yeah, I mean that's two hours yeah. twenty minutes. So if we played it again now, it would be a 90 minute game. Yeah. Yes, this I does make it on the table. And this does mm, make faster. me want to. Yeah, it does. It does play faster in person. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I definitely think... feel like I spent a lot of time going, I'm going to pick up this one cube now. And you guys <laughs> teaching me how to pick up more than one cube. <laughs> yeah. You know. yeah. Yeah. There's only one expansion that actually increases the length of the game. All the others are just different locations you visit. Okay. But that one expansion, which adds like a, 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 I think like a wonder or a, a myth, like a giant monster to fight. Right. That one kind of slows it down a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But I definitely than... think I'm going to try and get a group into this again because now that I've played it again, I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. Plus, plus I feel like I just didn't do very well, and you know, what's <laughs> a redemption. Yeah, the thing is, all of the expansions are within this tabletop simulator mod. They're all here. Yeah. Okay. So this is it. I'm, you know, I've got a lot on my plate at the moment, but I want to play this again, um, definitely with with some of the other expansions and and see how they work. I think so, one, one strength of it is the fact that I think we could all go away from today having having played it, being able to teach it. Yeah, quite easily. Yeah. Never really as long as I don't wait a year. Well, yeah. The core game itself is actually relatively simple. Yeah. The iconography is very clear. I know when I was taught how to play it in January, um, the family that taught me how to play didn't realise that the monastery, for example, the colon meant that you could do it as many times as you wanted. Uh, and then right. we, we were halfway through the game and somebody came over and they said, Oh my God. You know you can do that more than once? And they were like, Wow, can you? And they were like, yeah, how did you if ever you, vindicate if... yourself? And they were like, we never did. <laughs> well, there you go then. Yeah. So, but again, the iconography is clear. You, you look, you see the colon. The colon means you can do it as many times as you want. It, it's all pretty clear. So yeah. they've done a good job, I think, with the graphic design and the overall uh, appearance of the game. Yeah, look at this monster right here. If I had a conviction and drew like the top three monsters off the deck and fought this one, Gain yeah. one honor for every two influence you have. And yeah. I have like 12, or how much is this? I don't know. 12 influence over here. That wow. was one of the things I was thinking early yeah. in the game, right? Because my end game was strength, and I knew I was going to be trying to get strength, that I would try and go fight the monster den. But then the monster den just showed up on the complete opposite end of the board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. when I kind of pivoted, and I'm like, well, I'll try something else now, because... yeah. The yeah, I mean, there is I... a little bit of randomness in the game. Yeah. I mean, yeah, having conviction is, yeah. helps to mitigate it, but then you also want to use the conviction to control. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I went with something very different in this game because you lot were all trying to vindicate yourselves and you were all, you know, going to the monastery. And I thought, okay, well, I'm not going to do that. And I didn't do that at all. I just yeah. focused on other stuff instead. So, I mean, it's yeah. only five points vindicating yourself, but, but it also gives your character flexibility in getting two... You know, two uh, traits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Traits. Two. Uh, what do you Attributes. call these? Yeah. Attributes. Which I yeah. didn't. I didn't do much of because I was using my companions all the time to get yeah. the cubes. So I anyway, mean, right. The only thing I feel like kept me in the game was that that the blue companion that was able to let me activate my character after and do more stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But by that point, I had already pivoted twice and was so far behind. It was like, yeah, well. Yeah. There you go. So um, yeah, let's wrap things up. 
thank you to you three for cool. joining me this evening. Thank you to Mo for, for basically running most of the teach of the game. Yep. Um, <laughs> thank you to Orange Nebula. This was Nebula. a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Thank you to Orange Nebula for giving me permission to play this over Tabletop Simulator. As I say, uh, you know, this is an unofficial mod. This isn't sanctioned by the by the publisher of the game at all, but they, they said it's okay for me to show the game off. At the moment, the game is out of stock. Um, the Kickstarter did well, but all of the copies sold. Um, I did speak to them this week, and they are hoping at some point in future to do a reprint of it, which would be which would be good, because then uh, this is definitely a game that I would like to have in my collection. Anyway, thank you again, David, for joining me. Thank you. Thank you, Mo, for playing. Yeah, thanks. And uh, Joe, enjoy the rest of your day over there while we all go to sleep. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, <laughs> for let me jump in on this one. Yeah, no, I anytime. definitely would love to do this again. Yeah, good to play again with you. Right, okay, thanks for everybody for watching, and I will see you all next time. Good night, all. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com